Hello everyone and welcome back to Blenderpedia with the new tutorial on how to create this bedroom. Um, this is a short introduction uh, on how I created this and what my workflow was, uh, how I put on the textures on everything and build it up to this complete image. Um, to be honest, it's not really a complete image because uh, yeah, normally a bedroom has a lot of more props and stuff on uh, this desk and uh, on the bed. Uh, I choose for it, don't do it because it uh, saves me a lot of time and we can focus on the most important things like uh, yeah, how we create this base and then fill it with all the stuff what you normally see in a bedroom. Um, I'm hiding this image and we have a look from this viewport. Uh, in the next tutorial and the one after that, uh, yeah, we're focusing on creating the base with the tiles, and that's pretty much it. Uh, later on, we're creating the window and yeah, all the stuff around it. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. I hope you like this kind of style, uh, and if you want to do something different, that's totally no problem because uh, this is just my. Uh, Thing, what I created so if you want to make a white bedroom or totally black um, yeah you can do that if you choose your own textures and you have something in mind you can follow this uh, or my workflow and then put it in your own stuff uh, and that works absolutely so um, I hope that is clear and we can go to the next part so in this part we're gonna create the floor tiles and to start with that, I looked for a texture, what I created by myself, and I'm going to show you that, this, this one. Uh, it's just one image, so uh, we're gonna create around 40 tiles with one texture, but you're not really gonna see that. Well, fortunately, you're not gonna see it. Um, and the reason is, is that we just can rotate it and do it in a way uh, it works. So um, it's a really high resolution image. Uh, what, what works perfect for, uh, for the floor. Um, what I also did was uh, creating some, uh, where is it? Some normal maps and uh, where is it? Uh, specular map. It's including in this, uh, in this pack so you can download them. Um, and we're not all gonna use it, but uh, yeah, you have the choice. Uh, in my opinion, it didn't really work out, but the normal map works great. So enough talking, we're gonna do something, uh, what I really like. So the floor, um, it's not just creating a plane and put on the texture, cause then you have that, uh, yeah, the feeling that it's just uh, stretched the image. And we want all individual tiles and that there is some depth in it and I create I, I tried a lot of stuff yeah I tried a lot of things out to create that feeling of real tiles but every time uh, yeah it just didn't was really what I want to create so finally I came out with this tool and it really works and I hope you like it so we're creating a cube and we start displaying it so you know what I'm doing um, and we make that, uh, oh, we're bringing that to the center. And we make it a bit smaller. So it's really a tile. It's not just uh, a cube. And if you think this is a tile, you are wrong because we need to do something else. <laughs> so we're selecting the top, the top, not the bottom. And we are extruding it a little bit and bringing that to the middle. And as if it is right like this yeah um, yeah this is a great way to put some depth in the tiles and the next thing is we're selecting everything pressing U project from view uh, creating a new one uh, <laughs> we're gonna create all the material so we're not gonna copy paste that from the scene uh, image open it gray to uh, to, to do I have a medium one low resolution yeah that's better if we render this is a 4k image and this is 2k so way better too you can see the resolution but if you go really really close you can use the big one uh, normal and that should work 
So if we do project from view and we go to the UV image editor, we have a normal map and we don't want that. We want grade to low resolution. Exactly. So we're stretching this a bit and we want exactly the at it's uh, hitting the corner like that. So we can uh, stretch it a little bit like this. And it's the same for the top scale it a little bit it's really important this part <laughs> and yeah i think we are doing good yeah, can. so and this is pretty much it so the only thing what we're going to do right now is rotating it and using an array modifier to uh yeah to duplicate it so if we go to the texture mode we have a tile and you can see these uv problems but it's not a big problem because you won't see them the only problem was and <laughs> i'm really honest is that i forgot to do it when you, when you're putting them in your viewport so here on the ground it's not a problem but here we have some uv problems and you have to solve that i'm going to explain how to do that but for this uh, final render it wasn't so uh sorry for that so the next thing is shift D, not Alt D, what a lot of people do to save some memory, but we need to, and we rotate it 90 degrees, 90, oh, that's 0, 9, 90, uh, nope, Rob, you're doing great, uh, nope, Z axis, all right, and we're fitting this, yeah, X, a little bit yeah like this there's a little bit uh, so you can put some concrete in it and that's later on so we have the tiles and we're doing it again shift D and we are making that 180 and same for this one we're selecting this point so we can see this center and uh, pressing G Y and it needs to be exactly, uh, uh, maybe we can use these. So I'm using these four squares in the middle to point it out good. So, and finally, we do it another time. Um, another time. Three seconds. Someone is jamming me. Yeah, or oh, I'm back. Um, and that is 270. And I'm putting that right there. And again, G, X. All right. So we have four tiles, but we're not there yet. Um, I'm selecting them all and press Control J. Uh, so we have this. Uh, this uh, thing and now we're gonna put an array in it so we have that and it should be uh, now it's fitting to it and we want a bit space so the only thing I can imagine is that 1.1 no 1.01 uh, even less 1.08 uh, no, 1.008, that's better. E 1.006, I make five of it. Yeah, and duplicate it. And we're gonna put another array and this should be zero. And I think it's that one, no one go up yes but we're gonna make that yeah no problem uh, and again for this and I think it's the same value uh, 1.005 1.005 but I can imagine that for your scene it's maybe a different uh, value um, I have to do one more thing yeah, it's good. You have to check it all the time. So we have the tiles, finally. 
and you can see there is some strange white thing there the pattern but because we rotate it uh, you won't really recognize it um, and we're gonna put a camera in the scene and I'm putting it right there and rotating that bit so we can see it because we are gonna put some concrete behind the tiles uh, we have to view camera set act yeah there we go go back so, like this and this lamp layer 3 is for me always the the experiment layer so I have my light there that I use for testing it out and that's pretty uh, pretty good way to uh, don't ruin your original scene what we have uh, here here <laughs> if we test in this scene you get really crazy all the time with all that extra light anyway the tiles um, for the concrete it was uh, a short trick I created a, a white plane what are we gonna make gray later on I'm scaling that a bit and then we putting that right there and you can see we have some white stuff and that's it and now we're gonna make a material I'm making this gray but for the real fanatics uh, <laughs> you can put a texture from concrete on it and that even looks better but to save some memory uh, mm, this is great oh no preview yeah um, yeah this is good this is okay um, maybe we should make the first render from the viewport uh, I'm going to save this never forget to save uh, it's already good and we make a render so this is from the viewport uh, but m the problem is that it feels a bit flat and I want a bit uh, bumpy uh, looking uh, tiles and that there is a bit of specular gloss or something like that so I'm um, making this solid I'm selecting these tiles and we go to the node editor where we're gonna do some texture variation so we have this diffuse texture and that's it and we what I want to do is starting with some gloss so um, go to the shader making a glossy and go to add shader and mix shader and with a mix shader you can mix two different textures very easy and this is a has a 0.5 value that means it's mixing that exactly from the half and when we make new render you will see that there is a lot of specular and it's not really what we want of course so but we're not going to change that right now because we have something else to do um, and uh, this is the last step to change that I'm not going to do that right now because if we if I'm changing this and I'm putting up the normal map and the bump map then maybe I have to change it again so the next thing is add a uh, texture an image texture and we have to open the low resolution grade 2 normal map you follow me great because <laughs> uh, that's good and we adding add a vector and a normal map a normal map uh, if you're new with normal map it will fake some um, uh, shadows so if you have a very high resolution texture with small details and you put on, put on uh, a normal map it will give you a lot more details uh, without uh, getting all that extra memory uh, if you really want to know what normal mapping does uh, go google it on uh, wikipedia but it will save render time a lot I'm giving this a value from 0.2 but maybe we're going to change that later on uh, and if you make render you won't see any difference that's on the later part so the next thing what we do is get this image we shift D add color mix and making that multiply multiply will get the black and white areas and uh, what we're doing right now is creating a real bump effect putting it in displacement making this uh, 0.9 and this more black this is like if I just put it in right there we do not have any value so it's just 
I think it's the maximum value from this map. But we want to have want to have some control. And by making this multiply, we can control the value. And maybe the best thing to do is show you, I'm hiding this and making this uh, a double window. And this is the, uh, oh, this is fun. It will, well, all right, I'm hiding that one, and that one, so we have some. And if I put in just this node, you can see we have some bump map. But we do not have a handle to make it more or make it less. So what I will do is just put it in right there and right there. And we have more gentle bump map. If it is one, you see, I think it's nothing. But 0.99 is better, making this black. So you have a lot of handles to control it. I really like that. I think this is a pretty good one. So now we have this uh, shiny, uh, glossy uh, panel. It's, a, it's also so uh, a mixer, like a handle, so more or less. So making it one, it was totally shiny. Making it zero, uh, it hasn't any effect. Even the bump is disappeared. But if we make that 0.0 or two, you can see a little bit bumpy and a little bit shiny, and that's a great mix. So you can experiment with that. I don't know, 0.05. This is just the values I try out, but maybe you have some difference. Uh, and I think 0.03 or 0.0, yeah, 0.03 works out fine. So if we make this, we get, grab this lamp, putting it right there, and make a new render. You can see what 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 works. I think when we have some spot lamps on the, it uh, it has an effect of tiles on the ground. And um, w why oh, I can't select it? Only not in the viewport. Um, Rob, you're talking a lot. <laughs> I just want to explain exactly what I'm doing, and that's when you would, we can discover all the stuff. You can see there is a nice little bumpy, and there's some shiny. Um, but the fun thing is, because there are a lot of handles in the note editor, you can, yeah, go wild with it. So this value is just my, my interpretation of what looks good. But maybe you think, no, Rob, 0.7 is the best way to go. Look at that. It looks so way better. Okay. And I think it looks way, way more better. Sorry. It looks a bit better. So it's just randomly just try it out and if you think it's good it's good this is not a tutorial how it is this is just a tutorial how it can be huh? put that in your head so yeah this is the way how to create tiles um and in the next tutorial we're gonna use these tiles to make uh, a base so we know the shapes from the bathroom and how to change it or yeah, make it different. Anyway, uh, this is the part number two and see you in the next part, see ya. So welcome back. This is the third part of this uh, bathroom tutorial. Um, I'm going to explain what we're gonna do in uh, this part. So we created this floor tiles and now we want the rest of the bathroom base. So this wall, that one, and also this little wall, what separate the, the bath with the shower. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, maybe just uh, uh, this, this roof, but yeah, it's not really spectacular. Um, so we're switching to this layer where we can do our stuff. And we're just make a plane and that's it. <laughs> no, it's not really that's it. Uh, we're scaling that, uh, making that 90 degrees and 90 degrees from the z-axis. So putting it a bit upwards. And if you have the question, what size needs to be? I, I don't know, it's just like, I do not have a blueprint. So normally when you're making a bedroom, you already have some sketches. If you don't have them, uh, it needs to be like, uh, if it feels right, if the measures are okay, or you have some reference maybe from, uh, yeah, you can always draw something, but normally if you watch it and you think, yeah, that's the right size, it's okay. So I'm making it a bit smaller. <laughs> and we're gonna uh, project the texture on it. 
Uh, and for this one, I have uh, something special in my mind. Uh, it's called Gray 4 Texture, what I m created by myself or made a photo and tiled it. Uh, first, we project a texture on it. Uh, we're opening the Gray 4. There it is. It's a large texture, so uh, there is no medium. <laughs> Uh, but I can create one if you like. Uh, we'll do that. So, scaling that a bit. So, it has this size, and we're switching back. And in this, uh, maybe we have to make that double so we can see if it is stretched. And in my opinion, it is a bit stretched. So, uh, or not. Yeah, this is way better. Maybe we can make it even a bit bigger so if we switch to this camera mode you can see there is some uh, duplication but uh, there are two things we can do uh, make that a bit uh, smaller like this and that works and if we put all the stuff on the wall like the mirrors and uh, and, and uh, the, the black uh, cases uh, yeah, you won't really see it anymore, but uh, yeah, you always have a bit duplication if you tell it wrong uh, So avoid really really different tiles in it. Anyway um, It's a really high resolution one so we can go uh, wild with the note editor uh, Same with this one if we had we can save for project of course if we hit render you see there is some nice uh, bumpy thing going on on the floor but nothing really special happened on this wall and if I select me this and we go back to the have to load all the textures you can see it's uh, maybe not it's just a wall and we can put some little bump on it so it feels a bit more it has a bit more depth so we open this UV no <laughs> the node editor Selecting the wall, and again, we are uh, gonna make uh, making it a bit specular. So add uh, shader, mix shader. There you go. Uh, this can be the solid, or else <laughs> it will load everything. What I do, um, yeah, loading in a glossy shader. There you go. Uh, we're not going to touch that, but you know that already, I think. Uh, a vector normal map. Always love normal maps. We can just oh, duplicate that one and loading in the normal. It's gray for normal. Or nice purple weird texture. And make that a value of two because if you make that point one it's really really black and yeah it's too too much uh, normal going on a last thing same same thing add color mix and we're putting it there there and making that not black but just very dark point 99 uh, so we have the bump but not a lot and this can be 0 0.04 for a nice start. And you can see it's, oh, here in you know, a viewport. I think it's still too much. I really love that viewport. So we can see 0 0.02. It's a new add-on in Blender 2.66. Really, really nice. Um, make it a bit smaller. So save it again. Sometimes it will crash. It's a nice thing from Blender. Uh, you can see it's totally look, look ridiculous. Uh, why does it look ridiculous? I don't know. I don't know. I think that's too much specular in this scene. Hmm. Oh, 0 0.02. 0 0.002. Maybe that's a bit better. Or disappear completely. Yeah. Well, make that 0 0.009. 0 0.009. Uh... Point zero zero five. I'm not changing anymore. So we have a little bit shiny stuff on the wall, and um, if we make this a bit more, so we have a bit bumpy, and that's okay. So well, maybe point zero zero three. I always want to change it until I get mad. So yeah, I think it's a bit believable. It's 
it's great. Um, so the next thing to do is duplicate this wall. Uh, Shift D, rotate it. Uh, what can you give it zero? That's fine. And we're putting that right there. So what do we have if we had render? All right, it looks like bedroom or or not? I don't know. So <laughs> selecting this light, then we can play a bit with the uh, with the room and watch if the the lights works okay. And maybe the floor has too many specular, but uh, yeah, you can switch that. So we have two walls. Now we have to do a bit. Uh, different stuff um, if I go to this layer and select that one uh, this you can see there are some small tiles so we have to do that again and I'm going to this one and just select making a new one uh, closing this <laughs> uh, you already get crazy <laughs> So not the square size, but just this one, a bit smaller, and making that small again. And as we did with the floor, I think this is a good size, nice measure, uh, like this. So making this a bit. So if we don't do it, we have a lot of space here and not a lot of there. So scaling that a bit. So we have a nice tile and it's under the floor uh, like that, putting it there. Um, and it needs to be the same size as these tiles on the floor or else it will look a bit weird. And we don't want that. We don't want weird looking tiles. All right. So uh, that's what I did with that. Okay. Yeah, I can live with it. Fine. Maybe next time I make it a bit smaller, smaller tiles. Oh, we can do that. Yeah, we can do that. Just making this, making that smaller, and we should select the floor. It's always a bit, uh, uh, yeah, changing your stuff when you work. So there we go. Easy as it is. And we're projecting the texture on it. And uh, this is a great two texture. And of course we can just, uh, oh, that's a good one. <laughs> um, yeah, I should give it a name. So this is uh, material point 44. And if they make floor tiles, all right, and I'm selecting that one, I fill in or tiles it has exactly the same uh, information so we don't do not have to do this again all these node settings well it's not a lot of work but and select two so if we change the value it won't have an effect on the ground so very important thing check the two um, but of course we still have to texture it project from view you project from view and we go to the UV image editor and I'm just picking a random piece. And in case this one, I'm not going to rotate it. I'm just using the array modifier. Array. Array it. Wow. Texture. Uh, putting it on the floor. Yep. Or right there. Now you can choose where you want it. Oh, I don't want it. I just want it right there. Do we? Yes, we do. All right. And yeah, you can guess we're using the array. Um, yeah. Uh, sometimes I have to think. It's not really strange, right? So now there is not really a lot of space between it. So I think it was 0 0.005, 0 0, 0 0.005. Yeah, that's what we like. And how many do we have? 
in this scene, I think it's around one, two, three, four. So we're going to make four. That's how it works. Three, four, one. And not array. Uh, make that zero. Uh, I think we go up in here. Yes. And point, uh, no, one point zero zero five. Uh, is it right? Yeah. Oh. No. Oh, should be a bit bigger. Uh, I don't know why. So, oh, maybe because the thing is changed in size for so one. Oh yeah, that will work. Um, make it right there. I don't know how many ones. Well, oh, it's enough. And we do not have to copy exactly this one, but it's more like a reference I have. A good excuse, right? <laughs> so and. The same for the floor, we need that white uh, concrete into the swap. But first we have to take a look what we have. I think it's, uh, it's believable. Um, and maybe I have to, because we really want that these uh, lines are affecting them. So now copy this white plate underneath, uh, shift D and do it exactly 90 degrees or else we have uh, some different kind of variation um, and go back to the material and we want nice white uh, lines uh, shift pressing shift you can control it way better than just doing this shift is magic so if you watch we have thick lines and thin lines and that's not how we want oh oh Whoa, what are you doing? Yeah, so you can just pressing shift and then uh, pr uh, pull the, the green arrow. You should press it, move it a bit, and then you can use S. It's really weird. So anyway, um, so we have nice white. It works good. What is this? Oh yeah, that's the white. <laughs> All right, so putting it right there putting it here, make it a bit smaller. So if we have a window outside, it won't give sh oh, S X, S Z, and that's good. So we have nice wall. Uh, I think for this one, we have small tiles, yeah, small corner. We're gonna create a corner by just uh, shift D and we remove, I think, this one. Okay. Um, and then just make that a bit smaller. But now we have some UV problems because we have stretch one and we make it smaller because also this one a bit smaller. This is another area for the variation. So, and of course, rotate at 90 degrees, zero, or oh, minus 90. Should work, definitely. All right, there we go. Um, yeah, why not? Why not? I don't know. Um, and same for that one. We need that white uh, concrete. Shift D rotated or I don't like minus this 90 two 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 and we still have to do the bad oh wow mm, s y yeah Ooh. Uh, material so we know if we have to pull it a bit a bit and then drag it right there and I think we're fine I think we're fine um, and if we go back to the first one or main scene, yeah, I think, I think we're fine. Yeah, definitely. All right. Um, okay. We are gonna do, we have to uh, imagine what <laughs> we should have to do. Uh, only thing what I can, uh, what I'm not happy with 
is the space from the shower. So I think I'm pulling that a bit. I'm opening the material. Yeah, we can do it like this if we want it. Uh, we have a very big shower right now. Is that something what we want? Mm, sorry, I'm just a bit confused. So we need, uh, no, just to make it a bit easier. So, and then the magic came in, boom. So easy, is it? That's really easy. Uh, skilled is a bit because it's not really affecting. All right, we'll go to the material. And I think we're fine. So, uh, bathroom. Or, oh, you can see we have to material. Drag this a bit. So, okay. Uh, and same, we are selecting this one. Shift D, rotating it. Minus 90. Um. Two, two, two. Oh, oh yeah, exactly. A nice integration with this wall. Uh, make it a bit smaller. I think I use two. Yeah, sure of it. And I use two. Two nice tiles. But these tiles are a bit smaller. But I don't care. No, I don't care. Oh, yeah. All right. So it needs to fit and I didn't copy the white or it doesn't matter. It's not really a big problem. But what a problem is if we do not fit this one exactly to the wall. And we have some fine space. So, all right, and what do we see? Okay. Uh, we can make that a bit bigger. Yeah, exactly. Um, just copy this white one. Where are you? There are you. All right. Uh, 90, not 90.001. <laughs> you will see that later on. If you didn't do it right. All right. And scale it a bit. So. Uh, I think that's going to be a little problem because my tiles are a bit smaller than my previous scene. It's not really a big deal. We can change that later. Material. Yeah, exactly. It is okay. A bit bigger. Uh, S, Y? Yes, that's the Y. Y axis. S Y. Maybe a weird way to put concrete be between tiles, but in my opinion, it works pretty well. Um, why is my camera so? Oh yeah, this is looking okay. Uh, and I think even this, these two walls, material, yeah, needs to be a bit like there. All right. And for this one, I'm just copy paste it. And strange enough, you can't, uh, you have to, yeah, oh, I say it later. I'm not thinking loud in my head. Zero. And this one it needs to be 100. Wow. Wow. Why is that? All right. Needs to fit. It's cool creating a bathroom. It's always something new. New things to discover. Uh, there's some white stuff popping out. I don't like that at all. Gee, go away. That's good. Uh, yeah, where are you? Oh, I have to make that smaller. Wow. Uh, that's small enough. I think I'm cheating a bit. <laughs> All right. Okay. And where are you right now? There. Sorry, sometimes I have to fit it a bit in my head. Uh, G, X. And we have. I, th 
think it fits nice. So now I'm changing this white exactly the same time, this concrete with the same time with the tiles. We have to do it at the last, at last, yeah, at the last point. Right, so save our project, save it and make a render. So this light is a bit, bit doing, acting weird because uh, we changed the walls. So putting it right there, making a render, and it looks well, it looks looks okay. We're getting somewhere. You can see there's no width white space, so we have to change that. Um, we, have, we have to make the wall and the plate on the bed. But I think I'm doing that in the next tutorial because there are a lot of new things new things to explain, right? Um, so I think this is it for this tutorial, and then see you in the next part. I'm gonna create cool stuff. Hey, welcome back to this new part uh, where we're gonna create or finish this uh, bed. Uh, we're gonna create the roof with some lighting uh, and that's it for this part. Uh, so yeah, let's start. Um, in the last video, we could see this, this white concrete did not really match the side. So we're gonna fix that. Uh, pressing this arrow and pulling this a bit forward. And if we go to this viewport and hit render again, we should see that it is fixed or almost fixed. Uh, well you can always tweak that later on. But the uh, important thing is that we have a believable uh, space or base where we can build in. And I think that's all right. Or maybe not if you think uh, we have to change that. So the next part is a bit tricky. We're gonna cover this bad and by doing that, I'm selecting this, um, yeah, this uh, these tiles. Shift D. Uh, I'm going to rotate them, and I think it's 90. Oh, minus 90. That's it. Um, and what happened if we? Yes. So that is um, minus nine, minus 90 also or 90. Uh, uh, we're not going to change the size of the tiles. Uh, if we want to do that, we have to do that in the, again. We have to fit it. Um, what happened if I, yeah, that's the right direction and the right direction. All right, so this is good. So this is, yeah, all right. So we start at the end of the, the bat. Oh. And we have to match it uh, like this. This should be okay. Oh, almost. We have to put it right there. And a bit more that direction. But we can change that later if we're not happy. We can always change that. How cool is that? So one more, one more. Should shoot no don't change that um like this and then we have a bad tube or don't we have one we have to fix it so the bad tube is i'm going to this fourth layer we don't need any lighting so it doesn't matter is i want to have a background image uh, use it we have now some uh, other stuff i don't want to see it bad tube just pick a random image you like and uh, yeah project that in the background and then I want to have it in the center and we're creating a plane and this is just my opinion what the best way is to design a bad tube but if you already did it and you know a better way just uh, ignore this because <laughs> uh, I'm not really a specialist in creating bad tubes, but uh, yeah, it integrates in the scene I created. So I was happy with that. Um, we're gonna subdivide it one time, removing this from the starting point. And now we're going to scale that a bit. Uh, S, Y, and the X axis. Um, yeah, I think we can do it a bit more. Uh, maybe we should fit it a bit better. So 
that's okay. Um, and next thing is, we're gonna do this exactly the same, but now we're going to put it a bit downwards. And I know there are some nice curvy corners, but that's later on. I'm gonna focus on that. And we can see some lines over here and one on the bottom. So we have to keep that in mind as a reference. So one more. And maybe it's not really <laughs> what we need, but I mean, what uh, exact the same size, but you're not gonna see it. So I think this works pretty good. Fake till you make it. If it doesn't look good, we can change that later. So now I'm selecting these sides and you and extruding it a bit and crop that downwards and one more time. So this is the bad tube, bad tube. Um, important is to scale it a bit because uh, I scale it later on. Uh, we have something like this, and I didn't test the new bevel function. Control B, just a little test. Wow. Mm, no, it's not working. Um, <laughs> I want to test it out in the new version of Blender. So we have a nice curvy. Oh, I have to change my keyboard because it's not really any in my. Um, and we can make, oh yeah, what I'm doing is I'm making a, a subdivision so we have nice smooth uh, curvy uh, object. And now we're gonna fit it in the right shape. So this is, I think, cool. And yeah, you can make this a mirror tube if you like. So you have to do it just one side of the bat. But I like to do it with my hands because, in um, my opinion, you're not really gonna see it. Or maybe we do. So one over there. And smooth it. Wow, and now it's Gen. Control L to just Control N. Um, yeah. When you press S, Z, we can make it deeper. But I think it's fine. I think this works. So next thing we're gonna do, I think when we selecting this one, we're gonna put it, or first we rotate it, or <laughs> no, we're hiding this image. Ah, oh, that's great. That is great. Uh, minus 90 and scale it a bit. So you think, yeah, this looks like what I want. Oh, it needs to fit into it, so think we're happy with this size a bit bigger oh wow what do we have in our uh, okay it doesn't really matter whoa come back so you think yeah well I'm still seeing some tiles but I have a trick for that I think that really works so um, I'm saving my project and I'm now uh, giving this a name. So like bad tube. And these tiles, uh, bad tiles. Well, it's not really important to give it a name. Um, I have to size this now, not doing good. Right, so important thing here is that it does not touch the, the tiles. I will explain later on why. So this is the bad tube. Selecting these tiles, I go to, oh, first of all, that's important, applied arrays. Uh, maybe there are some doubles sometimes, remove it. We don't have doubles. Um, and now I go to the Boolean, and I think it is uh, bad tube. Yes. Oh, it's already fixed. Yeah, apply it and remove. This is nothing to remove. And how we are the textures? They are still good. Okay. Uh, no, 
No, not really what I want. <laughs> what happened? So there was the bad tube. This is the array. We're doing it again. So uh, boolean bad tube. Union uh, difference. Hmm. This is funny. What happened? So I think some weird stuff is going on. Uh, but we can fix that. That's not really a big deal. So I'm applying. Sometimes it works, sometimes it is jamming. Uh, we have to discover why it is jamming, of course. So what I will do is, um, yeah, I'm selecting this one. And I am undoing the Shift D, rotating it, uh, minus 90. Um, we should put it right there. Um, to, 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 to make that one, put it there. So, and we want some more. This is just a bit like we're creating a real bathroom. We have to make new tiles because the other one was broken. It really doesn't matter. You just make some fun. Okay, and how does that look? Uh, believable it's okay and now we can select this bat tube um, scaling that a bit All right. there we go and we're not ruining it oh wow and if we go to this side you can see we have something and yeah, it's important you have some tiles here to put some stuff on but uh, yeah I think I'm happy um yeah white stuff so i think it's just the same trick because i'm happy we don't have, have textures on this one Doo -doo. takes a lot of time you have to have some patience <laughs> when, when you're creating this stuff And it's not really difficult, but I understand you need to uh, know where to start. How you make this. All right. Okay, this works. Can we have some space? No, it's okay. Maybe a bit there. All right. So, um, hmm, white <laughs> concrete. I just call this concrete. Or I don't think it needs to have a name. So now it the concrete is filling this bad. I don't like to have a bat with concrete, so uh, I'm saving my project. And we do the same trick, and now it will work without have any problems. Bat room, bat tube, yeah, apply it. Um, and we have to remove um, what the, oh yeah, no, this was just a really stupid mistake. Um, bad tube, no bad tube. What are you doing, Rob? Do you have any idea what you're doing, or do you just do some weird stuff? Hmm. I think maybe something changed in this version. I don't know, but uh, um, it is uh, pretty funny <laughs> how this is interacting. So uh, I'm just removing this for disease, and it should look fine. So always be aware from changes in Blender. Never give yourself some, uh, it's always the fault from someone else. Well, what I want to do, you see me some doing a lot of stuff. I'm not talking what I'm doing. Um, this should be not visible, this concrete. Okay, and same for this one. Not visible. Texture, material. Mm yeah wow it's amazing um all right but there's more stuff to do like the window in the and the roof so we go on and the texture is just believe me or not 
a diffuse one and make it a bit gray. Um, and the reason for that, let's save it one more time, um, is when I hit render, uh, I'll make it specular. Uh, it's really white and reflecting. For now, it's not really a problem if I make that a bit glossy. Uh, no, whoa. To make that, of course, a mix. Uh, never fill in values when you uh, when you are in the render mode. Um, but it will have a lot of noise sometimes. But this works. What we'll we will see what happens. But I think I'm changing it later to diffuse. Uh, I'm sure of it. Uh, so we need another wall, and I'm selecting that one. I like that. Shift D. Yeah, you know the workflow. It's not that difficult. Um, and it needs to fit material. And it needs to be like there. So we have a small, small, small ties there. I like that. And it's not really a problem that it's not fitting that white line. Sometimes it does, but for this time. But important is that these lines are affecting each other. And you can see we need one more array. <laughs> there was a time that I just copy paste the tiles and never used arrays, but now I discovered that it's not really a good way uh, to do it. Anyway, um, yeah, uh, save it. And what we want is a window. Um, I think, no, yeah, we're going to create the window with our own hands, not with our plugin. There is a window plugin, but in this version, I don't have it. So I'm just making something by myself. Window. Um, what I will do is just make a hole in this, uh, this tiled wall. And I think it will jam it again because, uh, something really weird is going on when I make a hole in it. Um, make it a bit smaller. Like this. Not a little window. You want to have some uh, light in the room. Um, how close is that with this one? Yeah. You can put it a bit more to the sides. To the sides. Come on, Rob. Don't jam it. Don't put it exactly in that line. All right, save it. Um, I call this cutter or cut or hole. Hole is a great name for it. It's not really a cutter. Um, well, no, this is wall and this is hole. Wow. Um, and with the hole, hole, I'm selecting the wall and go to the Boolean, Boolean. Applying the arrays, hole, hurry up Rob, all right, and apply it, remove, bang, and now all the textures are gone, right, believe me, oh no, they're still there, sometimes my textures are just gone. Uh, I removed the cube, but it's not a good idea, because I want to Use this one, shift D, rotate that, minus 90. And put it right there. Uh, right arrow, white stuff everywhere. S, Y. If you have a better idea, for this white lines, do it. <laughs> but I couldn't find one. Uh, and the hole is going to have an effect on the white lines, but I, so I can select it. And Boolean, uh, what is the name of this? piece of this plane zero, I will call this concrete two. Um, Boolean is already there. 
concrete two. Oh, come on, come on. This has concrete two. Hole, concrete two. Come on. Oh, no, of course, hole. Because I selected the concrete two. Mm, let's disappear. Difference apply. And we have a nice window uh, face. Well, maybe we're going to use this later, so I'm not removing it. Material. Yeah, you can see these lines, but you won't see them at the end. What I think is good. So uh, we save our stuff and better angle, render it, and looks what happened. So we have a nice hole in it, but you can see there is this uh, wall is covering the. So if you put something behind it, it will receive some shadow. So um, is it gone? Yeah. And make that a bit smaller. And same for this one. Oh, we don't want to have any UV problems. Just like this. Face. And we won't see it. Oh, we will see it. So, bye bye. There you go. Um, window frame. A window frame uh, is something that you just have to create <laughs> from your imagination. Uh, save the file, saving a lot. And uh, what I mean is just everybody knows. Look, look around you. You see window frames. So I'm doing this and just pop out from my head, like what I have in mind. I think we need something square sized, of course, and something that fits in that corner. So maybe. I have to think before I create. Go there. Right. And scaling that. There is a, a very cool window generator. But uh, yeah, we're not going to use that one because I don't like it for this tutorial. It's a very good one, but it has some lags. And it's built for the internal, and this is all cycles. So window we're not going to create gloss the reason is that gloss reduce a lot of noise we don't want that um, scale it a bit so this is the outer window frame um, okay it is okay yeah <laughs> I have to make that good not bad so I'm thinking to make that now uh, a bit smoother. No, not with that bevel function. Because it's still not really what I want. If you make a cube, you can create nice bevel lines, like smooth edges. But this shape it doesn't really work. So what I will do is uh, add a subdivision surface. Surface, not surface, whatever. If you put it tight to these corners, you won't see any uh, problems. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's great. This creating a bathroom that I already made. <laughs> Love that stuff. Well, it's not really bad because you can think, oh, I did it not that good in my original version. I'm going to make that a bit better. So. I'm still learning from it, but it's funny. Uh, window, window frame, and make it a bit smoother. So yeah, it's really important to have smooth stuff, smooth object. Uh, Shift D duplicated. So we have uh, some depth in the window frame, and you can give it to some other color. So if you uh, create this, and this is white, of course. We need the color, this color, and it's like this one. Um, and make a darker color. You really won't see it much, but there's some little. Um, add mesh 
cube. Uh, where is my cube? There it is. And these are the. Now I'm gonna make some uh, cube uh, rectangle or what do you call it? Um, just a window looks like. And to be original, how many? Oh, there it is. Right. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh wow. This is good. Uh, make it small and big. That's a fine. Um, okay, maybe a bit bigger. Same for this one. Uh, one more time. No, this beautiful is not what I want. Um, subdivision surface. Don't make it round. Just smoothing. Uh, where is my purple? Wow. Purple line. Come on. There you are. Sometimes it's hard to catch them. Find the purple line. So now you have some smooth lines. Um, yeah, of course, we do this with an array. L. So we have exactly the same measurements uh, three four hmm well it's okay it is okay um shifty rotated minus 90 uh, yeah of course we need less oh now I'm no I'm not uh, whoa no it's good Oh, sometimes it's just disturbing me. All right, we have a window. So as I said, no gloss in it because that's totally ridiculous. Because <laughs> uh, will only you won't see any gloss, or you make it. Yeah, you have a, a way to do it, but I thought it didn't work. A important thing is, and um, this is maybe a bit strange. You never see it. Uh, apply these modifiers. Apply. Apply. Apply modifier was not the first result. Maybe expected. All right. Thanks for sharing me. Uh, I'm selecting these. Shift D. And make that really small. Really small. And make that a new material. Oh, it hasn't any material. Great. New. Or just join them. And then remove one material. And make that dark. So, and that gives some little variation. Uh, so, it has any material. A little bit darker. Like this. And they can have the same one. Alright. So, we have some dark... Yeah, rubber, uh, yeah, I don't know, plastic thing behind it. And when we have uh, a sunlight coming from this direction, it will merge with the, with the, yeah, uh, outside world, how do you say it? The sky, very important. Same with uh, this one, shift D, make that two, or else it will be black. O, S, Y. Mm. What is happening? Oh, S, X, no, it's Y. What are you doing? Hmm. Really, really strange. All right, great. Maybe a bit too thick. All right, that's good. Okay, enough. So we have a window frame. Cost us some ten minutes or something, but we have a window frame. Um. Uh, Control J, and it won't. Ah, it will. It will. Oh no. Maybe I have to. No, we can. Viewport color. 
No, that's strange. Strange stuff. Mm -mm -mm. I want to join everything. So, here we go. Minus 90. And we go back to this one and go to this side. And putting it exactly, you, know, you can see we, we uh, cheated a bit. Well, we're going to cheat also to bring it back. Um, just bring it in. Window frame. Window frame. Oh my god. File, save, and hit render. Yes. So you can see some weird stuff is going on. And I, that's funny. Haha. <laughs> what is it? Um, what is it? I will explain. There was some. Uh, wow. What the? I've never seen something like this. Oh well, I, I did. All right. Hmm. Says it's not, it's just a bit weird. But uh, yeah, what will work? bit darkish but I think it's shadow so uh, not really a big problem so we have a window frame but uh, what we also need is light coming in so in this part we need to make a roof at mesh plane mm -hmm. there we go right there boom and I have texture for the roof some plaster so uh, yeah so now you can say tell all oh, right I want a small room or a tall room whatever you like I prefer something like this uh, give it a color diffuse color so we do not have a lot of reflection made a bit dark is later on we we'll put on a texture but not now um, and something look if we have now a render do, 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 do. It looks disgusting. Really, it is solid. But if we make add mesh plane um, 90, uh, rotate at also 90. Um, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Smaller. Now. We're gonna project some skylight in the room, and I tried it with uh, with normal with with this one. But we're also gonna use that one sky. It's already on because this is the same file. But uh, there were not a lot of nice reflections in the room. And when you work with an uh, prop, an uh, ATR prop, we have wrong reflections. And if you use some skylight, uh, yeah, what well, it just works. You will see it. Um, maybe a bit smaller. View project from view, and I have an image texture. Unique, unique textures. Where is it? Image six nine one seven. Do 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 do. Open it. Um, image image. There you are. Uh, yes, and I'm making that an emission. And I forgot the value. This, this, I changed that 100 times. So what was it? It was in the value of 50. Wow, 50. Um, there it is. Make it at 50. Um, do we see any empty spaces? No, not really. All right. Um, so this is the time I'm removing this one. Save the file. Uh, we still have to UV map it. 
smart, smart, really smart. UV. Um, yeah. So there's some nice blue skylight with some trees. You don't want that. Texture or material. Wow, that's shiny. So what will happen if we hit render? Crash. No, it's no crash. So uh, you can see there's a total different lighting coming in this room. Um, and we still have these problems with the window. Um, I'm going to solve it right now because uh, I think that's because I uh, Oh, we, we can't do it. We can't change that. Hmm. Yeah, well, whatever. I'm fixing that later on. Anyway. Um, 50. Render it again. Uh, yeah, it's a total different lighting coming in. And we still have the ah uh, the light because I did Control Z. And we are now ready to create all the other stuff like the the shower, the um, uh, stuff on the wall, the cases, some towels, um, and fixing this window. I will tell you how to do it. What I did was uh, Control J all the objects, and then we had a little effect. Uh, can fix that later, but uh, I guarantee you get the right file. Um, and in the next part, we're creating some spot lamps in the roof, creating some nice ornaments, uh, mirror, uh, yeah, and later on other stuff. But uh, yeah, we will do that later. So uh, see you in the next video tutorials. Hello, and welcome back to this new part of the bedroom tutorial. Um, in this part, we're going to create some uh, random stuff like uh, the shower um, and some other tiles what belongs to... Whoa, I'm explaining. So we have the shower, but there are some yeah, tiles over there, the doors and uh, yeah, some more. And we're also going to focus on the roof with uh, some spotlights in it. Uh, and if we have some time left, we do something else. But I think that's pretty much it. So if I switch to this uh, scene, what we created, um, I have to focus. Well, I'm moving this roof to the forward layer. So we see this. And if I select this, we want something around it. And what I did in this one, uh, it was just a nice corner it's uh, not really hard to create so let's do it uh, what I will do is I select uh, these tiles I'm doing shift D and I remove all the arrays so uh, bye bye uh, no see you later um, and as you can see in this one hope it it's smaller than the other tile so we have the big ones the smaller ones and the really small so uh, don't make it exactly the same size and what kind of size you you want it doesn't matter but uh, keep in mind you make it a bit smaller uh, or if you make a total different bedroom uh, you can choose whatever you want but it's cool for the variation so I think a size like this looks okay so a bit smaller so don't forget to make some new uv coordinates so put them on the bottom and you are fine uh, it's a bit tricky part because we also have to put that concrete on it uh, it's a bit nasty but uh yeah it shouldn't be a big deal so putting it right there and for the variation, uh, I will use the array and use one 
point zero five four. Oh man. Oh, it was zero zero five. Oh, let's make it at least. Hmm. Mm mm mm. Yeah, what should we do? Something like this. I just want a small. No. I think one is okay. Something like this. Yes. And we. Uh, where is our? Here it is. Rotate it a bit like this. Yeah, it should be fine. And it needs to. So we have a little bit of empty space right there. We can fill that with concrete. And maybe a bit more. So we have some nice sharp shape. Sharp shape, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, and make that minus 90, so it's straight. And of course, it needs to fit to that. Uh, yeah, and then selecting this one. So, oh, that's H. Um, not this, but something like that will give a nice result. Um, and another thing is that I put some tiles on top of it. Um, they are overlapping each other, but it's not really a big deal. So if we are here, uh, shift D and rotate it and make that minus 90. Um, oh, wow. Something went, went really wrong. <laughs> All right. Well, maybe we're doing it by hand. What's well, not really a big deal. But uh, if you can, don't do it by hand. Minus 90. Like this. Yeah, it should be okay. If we look, yeah, I can live with it. And another one right there. Should look okay, but uh, well, yeah, you can use this like minus 90. We have exactly the same, so these two are overlapping, but it won't give a uh, nah, yeah, bad result. Just ignore it. Shift D minus 90. And we put it right there. So we are good. Um, are we? Just a bit there. Uh, we can cheat a bit. <laughs> Doesn't matter. So it looks like it's integrating. And for these, we need to make another one and pulling it right there I forgot to tell that so or else it will just fly in the air somewhere hmm I have to be there well, I think it's already doing a good job where is it no not deleting it there it is oh always pressing H all right there it is so we have some tiles on the floor, save our file. Um, what I will do is adding a spot lamp, uh, spot, oh no, 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 <laughs> add lamp, point lamp, sorry for the confusion. Put one there, uh, I'm using a sharp shadow and that was uh, point 0.1, not really sharp, but, uh, and it's all, hmm, okay, right, shift D, shift D, 
one over there. Um, later on, I will uh, point them in the right direction. So ignore the roof. You should ignore it. This looks shitty. Uh, save it. You can see I'm saving a lot because I don't want to lose my stuff. So we have to wait a bit. It is uh, zooming in. And it looks fine, but we we miss the white concrete, so we have to put it on. So that's a bit uh, yeah, a bit tricky, but uh, yeah, we can handle that. And maybe we make that a bit uh, smaller, so it's not really huge. You can break your neck <laughs> if you walk there. Oh, that's something you see after we created it. Um, selecting the roof, we don't want that something like this so now we want the white uh, concrete where it is shift D make it very small rotate it minus 90 and putting it right there only this layer should work there's something in my eye and it's not good for modeling right I'm back and let's have a look yeah it's flying right there and maybe I will remove the wall right to another leg because it's jamming my side right there we can put it back later on hey all right it also needs an array wow hmm all right there we are. Uh, we go to the material. Uh, yeah. And we're selecting them. And it's okay. And extruding it to that direction. And we go back to the material. And maybe a bit more. Nope. Nope. Uh, <laughs> I want it a bit downwards like this. Okay. And one more time over there. And the reason I'm doing it this way is that it is it works pretty good texture. Well, I'm missing it right there, so I should move this a bit. All right. Um, yeah, we can do that the same with the uh, with the top. Maybe it's a small detail. I think. Yeah. Why should I? Um, and you were right. When you look from this angle, it's sh you see a little bit, and that that's that's good. But if you zoom in, if you want to make a close up, it really matters, and it makes a difference between more okay and looks. Oh, how? Oh, that looks okay. <laughs> that looks way better. I can't explain it, but you understand, I think, what I mean. Sometimes you see renders, you think, wow, what, what's the difference between this good looking image and this? This looks way better. Well, it's, these are the small details. That's the difference. Okay, how am I gonna solve this? Um, I have to have any ID. Maybe there is a s faster way. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Bad teacher, you don't know what you're doing. Extruding it. Right there. And this should work. Yeah. And hide it somewhere and the texture mode you won't see anything hmm. yeah well we see this one and that one and that is good for me that works um, so we have this sidebar uh, we need some gloss gloss window mess cube 
um, yeah, I just we make it this size exactly. Make it a bit smaller. Y. S Y. And adding a gloss material uh, where it is. There it is. New diffuse gloss. Later we will uh, give some better uh, values in Node Editor. But for now it works. Mm. Is this, uh, yeah, big enough? Definitely. And a bit smaller. You don't want really thick gloss. Gloss is gloss not that thick in reality. So we're not going to put it on the ground. We leave some empty space there. The reason for that is that we're going to create some uh, iron. Uh, no, not iron. Metal. Aluminium. I don't know how you call that. But it's a nice, sweet detail. <coughs> we'll receive some nice reflection. So, there we go. Extruding it, and well, be a bit smaller. Just very gentle. Like this. And selecting the top ones, and as Y. Yeah, there is just a oh, there is small space like this. All right, all right. Uh, we don't need to do anything more. Uh, maybe a bit smaller, like this. And now we can put it. Mm, downwards so we have a little bit space left and yeah we can make it a bit smoother if we like uh, where is it yeah mm. does it really need to be like this no. anyway leave it like this it's okay so we have one door what we want uh, two or even more Just a little bit. Mm. I love these small details. So we have one door, and we want another one. Really, we want that. And Control J. By the way, uh, if I fix this, I want to explain something about that window. We seen some black areas there. It wasn't wasn't really a big deal, but uh, I really didn't know why. But uh, it was uh, a really easy uh, <laughs> bug, and uh, it's fixed. I will show you why and how to fix that. So right, okay. Uh, it's the second door, but I'm not placing it right there. This one is going to be here. Um, control. J or is it already uh, it's already all right I forgot it uh, minus 90 and put it there and how does it looks like hmm hmm you know what it is fixed <laughs> that's how easy we do yeah you can do this always like oops uh, fitting, fitting on. Okay, like there. And one more time, and I'm um, acting like it's an open door. Like this. Don't know why, but we have some uh, variation. So, putting everything back, and this one goes a bit to the right. So, right. File, save it. What happens if we make a render? Do, 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 do. Yeah, that looks like uh, a render. So, yeah, what I was explaining about the window. So, there was some these 
black areas and I, I didn't know what it was but uh, was pretty easy um, explaining we still have some black so I can show you why that is slide in the window I uh, uh, it's, it's console R and yeah I have to remove it it's gone and if we make a new render do 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 it is gone so uh, great uh, and you can see the reflection from the sky into the glass what looks fine and funny um, but I'm thinking where this iron bar oh, I still didn't make that iron Wow so P selection I shouldn't make that material two new uh yeah um make that object new so and this is the gloss glossy gloss make that point two um same for this one is there nothing on the ground there is should be new glossy because in this one I already uh, uh, joined them together what wasn't the best ID so if I select this one yeah do it P selection selecting that one where are you come on <laughs> yeah there you are uh make that an object new glossy point two and it should be fixed right and if you make a new render you will see some nice lines Ta -da. yeah and i mean these lines maybe i should make that point five or even more uh, and it's not affecting this one so I have to look why that is. Hmm. Maybe I should make it a bit bigger. Or maybe 0.4. So that means I have to make this one a bit bigger too. I'm solving that empty space. So what happens is a nice result of... <laughs> yeah, you can see it. It's now right there. And if we have around 40 samples, you can see it perfectly. All right. So um, I have to say this is still not the right uh, gloss material, but I will do that later on. And we can see some black line here. Don't like it. But what we're going to do right now is uh, making some spot lamps. So I added already some of these. I'm not going to use it. Totally not. Because what I like is some nice uh, f uh, light from spot lamps. They are like a cone, like a like this point light needs to be looks like a, f a spot lamp. So um, I'm just gonna make it, and you see what I mean. Don't know the right name to explain it. So this is really important because after this we can't. Um, change the spot lens or you make a new roof so I'm making a mesh a cylinder um, I think this is the right size for a cylinder for a spot lamp or it's maybe a bit too thick so this one go to the edit mode you can see that everything is selected put it into the roof and put it in the middle so I want one in the shower right there I want nothing uh, and need to be in line so not put in there and there just make it straight well I like that so make it your choice um, one over there one over there one over there, one over there. 
So uh, I call this uh, lamp cutter fade to work. And if I select these and that one, and we make that Boolean uh, lamp cutter difference or union. What's the difference? <laughs> Haha. All right, that's good. So we have some spot lamps. Put them upwards. I did this in the living room tutorial. I can. Uh, wow. If we make that smooth, it looks horrible. So you're not gonna make that smooth. So a new thing is we're adding a, a, a torus. Torus like this, make it smooth. Right, I'm gonna change that. And the torus needs to be there. Make that a bit smaller if you like. Or put them in. Well, it doesn't really matter. And I like to give this torus a material, new, glossy. Oh, no gloss, glossy, 0.2. So, yeah, that's some nice, mm, a nice metal look. Alt T, because it's, it's, it's totally uh, not important to make any uh, difference in it. So you can use Alt D, you save a lot of memory. Uh, difference between well I will show you this is all D if I do sh shift D there's nothing happening that's a big difference so they are like a, a copy exact copy oh I'm doing shift D well I'm confused I am confused alt D again Dun, 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 dun. Uh, yeah, one more time. All D. I'll save it. So we have some nice doors. Um, and to finish the scene, I have to see what kind of value I. Oh, now did I? 600. That is crazy. 0 0.01. No, and that's why. Add lamp uh, point lamp and putting them into the torus so it was uh, giving them 500 and this is the sharpness of the shadow 0 1 if you make that one you have a very blurry shadow like uh, well it's not really cool and this gives a really nice looking realistic shadow another thing is this is important if you put your lamp here, you have uh, oh, show that with a code. Ta -da. Um, yeah, if you putting it here, your shadow will looks like this, and maybe you like that. What I, I I don't like it. So what I do is I'm putting it right there, not here, but there and put it exactly into the middle so now our shadow looks like this more realistic of course we have some bounce lights so it's not really a cone and that's it um, uh, alt D so if we make any change all the lights are affected and I like that because it's not possible to make well it is possible make different light values for spot lamps that's crazy that's so crazy and if we make a render right now you can see that there is a lot of difference in our scene uh, but to finalize it we're putting on a texture let me see are uh, we creating an uh, diffuse no image open a plaster are you there plaster text 
UV. Oh, is this plaster? It looks so ugly. How can I, why did I make it? No, I'm, I'm making fun. It looks brilliant. If we put on some node, I'm going a bit faster right now because I need to fix this. Color mix, make a multiply. Displacement, make this a bit darker. Can always change that later. 0.99. All right, let's see what we have. Save it. Uh, check, 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 double check. Okay, hit render. So I'm zooming in a bit. I'm waiting for a nice amount of samples so we see what we have. But it should be okay. It should look a bit nice. <laughs> a bit nice. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. Um, I think what we need to change is the the lights need to be coming a bit more downwards because this looks a bit fake. I think. Well, it can, but it looks a bit fake. So I'm selecting the light. Oh, what we can do is selecting everything and remove it. So we have all the lights and putting them right there. It should make a lot of difference. It should, maybe not. So the lights coming more from, yeah. Yeah, happy. This guy is, I'm happy. <laughs> and maybe I should change the value later to 400 because this is really, really yellow. All right. I'm happy. So what we did was we created the shower and we created the lights with these steps. So I think it's enough for this part. Um, and in the next one, we are going to put the last stuff in it, like the toilets, and the, yeah, and the other stuff on this wall with the cases, not the hard stuff, but uh, makes it cool and put some new material in it. And very important, doing some compositing and reducing the noise in this scene. And that will look way, way better. So uh, see you in the next tutorial. See ya. Hello there and welcome to another part of the bathroom tutorial. In this one we're going to create the, the sink with the cases, a mirror and uh, the toilet. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to this layer. Um, I'm always choosing a clean layer to make new stuff. Um, and we're putting this in the center. And uh, what I want to create is this one. It's a uh, easy shape, but uh, yeah, you have to think what you, what kind of shape and how, how long it is. So in this case, it's a rectangle shape form, um, and that's pretty much it. So we're going to make that. Uh, I have a very cool texture for that, so we're gonna put that on. So it's something like this, maybe a bit thicker. So we're almost done. <laughs> uh, selecting these and cropping that a bit. And we want some extra space in the back. So this is okay. And now we're selecting, oh, <laughs> nope, only this part. Like this, maybe so you can put some uh, toothpaste on it or a glass of water, which you normally have in a in a bathroom. So we're scaling this down, right there. Um, and yeah, subdivision surface. So we have some smooth stuff there. Yeah, you know this workflow. Always putting it in the corner. So. We got some really nice stuff right there. And one at the bottom and one in the top. And of course, one over here. And, oh, I already did that. Um, what I see, we have a bit of a problem over here. 
That's because, of course, we uh, we try that uh, to put it a bit back. We pull it a bit back. So now we can put it right there. And I hope I selected the right ones over there. Okay, and this is good. So I think this looks good enough. Uh, smooth it and look like this. Important is to put a good texture on this uh, piece. Um, and normally I project it on, but I discovered that it doesn't get a nice result if we just pro project it on. So let's have a look what kind of texture I used. It was the uh, le papin note. Um, it was gray one, gray one. All right. So we're using gray one. Easy as it is. Pretty. Um, right there. And you can scale it down. Really, you should do that. <laughs> <laughs> what I like good looking textures but what does gray one looks like it looks like gray one where are you you're hiding it you see it yes I've seen it too so maybe you think yeah it's not really nice for a tiled texture but uh, it works and don't ask me why that is it just works um, yeah texturing it is different uh, first of all, I'm applying the modifier. Apply it. We don't need it anymore. Yeah, there are a lot of vertices, but uh, it's worth it. Makes it nice and smooth. Especially when it is close to the camera, you don't want sharp edges. It, it looks horrible. You, smart UV projection, don't touch all these uh, settings because it's good from uh, what it is. So, and we go to the UV image editor. And we go to the material. Uh, material so yeah you can see it looks horrible really and these are all <laughs> in a nice uh, square size and you have to look for what it is so this one is for the bottom and we make it a nice shape like this oh yeah hmm Okay, what is going on? I have to... Okay, alright. Now we have... Do I have to rotate it? No, not rotating it. Or do we? That's why is it always so hard to find out what we need. Okay, something like this is, is what, what should be good. Okay, don't touch it anymore. <laughs> All right. Anyway, the next one. No, I want this side. So I have to look for it. Uh, come on, where are you? Oh, yeah, this side is also good. So I have to rotate it. Yeah, way better. Something like this. Okay. Hmm. Okay. And the next one. Where are you? Uh, yeah. That's especially the one I want to have. So, it's just the same. Are you going to jam the project? Yes, you're going to do it. Oh, okay. What did I activate? Yeah. Go away. So I have to make that small and long, right? No. Yes. Sorry for all these confusing moments. <laughs> I also have to, because smart UV projection always makes it so funny. It's mixing it up. Like you think, what the, what is it? All right. Where am I gonna put you? Uh, Something like this. Yeah. Not really. It's not really fitting. I mean, we have to rotate that one. Still, the problem that it's uh, a bit stretched. Uh, 
not really a good way to fix it. Um, but why is that? Why is it so stretched? Hmm. Okay. Anyway, put it right there and just uh, leave it. All right. And the next one is. What's the next one? Um, something is no. We're not gonna use you. You also not. Well, that one is important. So make that smaller. All right, I'm still not not really satisfied with this one. So if I hitting it, no. Or maybe like something. No. Wow. Only way to do it is make that one a bit smaller. So uh, you can see this part is um, getting there. So if I rotate it it's like this and I rotate this one also, it should merge almost good yeah almost anyway um we na need one more side it's a really mesh in my opinion uh where are you are you hiding for me yeah there it is scale it down no so right okay um, maybe there is a way to make that less stretch yeah like this okay feels okay I agree there should be a better textures but it works for uh, for what it needs to do um, I did I have that one too on top or did I lose it Oh yeah, there it is. And um, yeah, should work fine. And go into that space. All right. I think we're done. I'm not doing that space because we're not seeing it. It's not in the camera angle. Um, but yeah, uh, it is all right. If you have one moment, there is sun is shining in my face. I have to check that out. Oh my God, uh, three seconds. So that's way better. Uh, it's so horrible when the sun is shining and uh, you can't see anything. It's like you're blurred in face. So this one was one is a bit stretched. I'm gonna fix that. Hmm, where are you? So, okay. Well, I'm happy. We should do some tweaking in the note editor. And for this, I'm adding a lamp, a point lamp. So you know what kind of effect it has when we change some notes. So we have this one. Um, and I have a gray one normal, specular. And that's all I need. Um, so <laughs> I'm starting with adding a color mix, no, <laughs> add shader, mix shader, add a color uh, shader, <laughs> glossy, and we, yeah, I can do that later. Uh, and we should make a normal one. Add vector normal map like there. Make that a point two or something like that. Yeah, this hasn't any effect on it, but anyway, 
and the bump map add a color mix and making that multiply boink so you know the workflow <laughs> it's not that hard or maybe it is 0 0.99 0 0.9 um yeah and as last is value 0 0.02 0 0.02 no 0 0.02 all right, and save the work and render it. So, hmm. no, oh no. Uh, what we can do is uh, uh, adding the, uh, yeah, the, um, oh, oh, that's okay. Okay, a bit less. Less. Okay, I was thinking about putting the specular map on it, but it's really not doing good in this image. So I'm leaving with this. You can see when I pumping this up, it's getting really black. So uh, point two, there are small details, especially when you come close to it. It works okay. So with solid, and we have the sink, important object in the bathroom. And uh, the only thing what I want to do is match it with the, and I'm putting it back in the layer. Already spent a lot of time on this little piece because the textures were doing weird. Uh, mm. Whoa, that's a big sink. Yeah, way smaller. On this, a uh, GY. Uh, so you can change that. Uh, should be smaller. Yeah. All right. I'm fine with this. So what we need to do is making some uh, cases underneath it uh, on the sides, and then adding the mirrors. So a uh, lot of stuff to do. Uh, right. There we go. So if we selecting this one. Uh, yeah and we can close this window and go to the 3D viewer uh, and our object is gone. Wow, and there it is back. Add mesh cube mm -hmm. and make that small. And I want four uh, rectangle square sized cases. So it can be a bit bigger. I can do that with an array, but uh, yeah, I'm not gonna do that because I have to change all these values and I can do it way faster just by doing it by hand. Uh, yeah, you know why I'm doing this to adding some depth in the in the case. Yeah, S Y set. All right. So it's a small detail. I think I can even make this a bit smaller. Yeah. All right. Um, so if I do shift D, and yeah, I'll make it bigger. That's how we roll. All right. Uh, smaller. Yeah, definitely. And I'm not going to do that this way. Um, more like this way, and I can remove that one and shift D that one and we are back in business boom and it's very easy I'm gonna put a glossy black shader on this so it's not really hard and that looks believable I think oh yeah uh, I think so if we add this in the floor Perfect. All right. What we need, it needs to be uh, fit exactly right there. Um, and for the material, I'm using uh, these uh, black glossiness uh, total reflection. <laughs> so, um, what the only difference between it is that I'm not making that totally black, but uh, in dark gray area. 
so that's what we do. I'm not copy it, that's too easy. So this area like, like this and you can make it glossy. So we have nice reflections from the room in it. That's what I really, really like. And yeah, just bind them, control J. Uh, we put later on some handles. What you can do is making a cube. That's not that hard. And fitting it right there, make it a bit smaller, and we get the side view, and my cube is gone. There it is. Mm, moving a bit to the side, yeah. Is it? Hmm. Yeah. Um, now we can use the bevel function because it should work with this one. Uh, like, like, mm, yes, <laughs> this control, control B and then scroll your mouse to have some cool lines. It's, uh, you have to find it out. It's a really nice function. So we only have here and you don't have to subdivide it. If you have a cube, that works great. But if you have these small rectangle uh, flat cubes, it's not doing anything good because I can show you. I just want to show you because it's really like eh. you could, eh, it's just flat. It's just hundreds of doesn't work. Just don't use it for these shapes. So uh, I'm calling this black black shiny case uh, new and you're guessing blank shiny mm, black case shiny case right two uh, right and of course we have some more so wow we have these flat looking cases making them really flat like this or maybe even more woman likes these cases really I, I don't like them because the only thing I need is my tooth break uh, to break to uh, clean my uh, my mouth and a towel but girls man they, they need these cases for everything bullshit in it <laughs> it's horrible Anyway, I'm proud to be a man. Sorry for the girls who are watching this. I'm not blaming you. But damn it. Yeah, okay. All right. You know what I do? You know, I'm just, just, wow. Like this and then, because I don't like it when they are a bit weird. I'm just doing it by hand. So I don't want to use every time a modifier to make smooth edges smooth. Wow. Uh, make it a bit thinner. Um, a magic trick, because sometimes putting in a magic trick is always good. We uh, copy it and we make this a bit flat like this. And you can guess this is the, the door. And if you leave some little space in it, that looks that looks cool for reflection. And of course it's uh but well this looks really around it. Well who care. Um yeah, control J, control J and new black shiny case. Black shiny case, there you are. File save. Shift D, and it should be cool if we make some handles. So we make a cube, and we make that smaller. And a handle you can make really thousands or maybe millions of variation from handles. I like the easy way because easy means uh, it works. So you just grab it and pull it. So I like that. All right, putting right there um, 
Uh, let me see here. Yeah. Making oh, one, two, three, four. Yes. Uh, look what we're gonna do. S Y. Oh. S Y. They should be exactly the same <laughs> size. A trick is just pulling it right there. It's the same. Control Z, and you're done. And if you think it looks a bit, mm, bit thick, you're right. But you can't miss the handle, right? It's not easy, hard to find it. <laughs> anyway, a bit smaller. Uh, but it has really hard edges, and we don't want that. Let's try the Control B. No, it looks shit. New. Oh, fuck. Sorry for my language. Damn it. Oh. Damn it. Oh, nothing is wrong. Nothing is wrong. Hmm. And back to business. Maybe we can do some meditation when I'm working on this. Like, and it's really focusing on putting dots on my screen and moving them. Yep. Great. That's what we want. Oh, well, I hope that <laughs> this is what we want. I can live with it. So we have a, a nice handle and we can duplicate it. Of course, we don't have to do it every time again. Wow smooth material make that 100 percent super shiny glossy yeah no mm, difficult make that 100 percent shiny and if it looks not good we change it so we want that in the middle and how can we check if that is in the middle i have a trick for that so <laughs> what i normally do is yeah, it's like the same, mm, just a bit there. So fixed. Oh, we have the same problem right here. Well, you know how to fix it now. Um, I'm doing it wrong. Alt D. Just keep that in mind. It's a, it's the new workflow. Alt D. If you don't make any cha uh, uh, change, Alt D. And Another trick is just do this. Wow. And you can check if it's on the same as this. Wow. All right. Um, if you want to have a handle on your case, just rotate it, uh, opening your screen, and make that 90. Make them maybe a bit smaller. So they are really, really huge. So. The girl is standing in front of her mirror and she wants a towel. She grabs it, it grabs. Hmm. All right. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, well, let's make a mirror. We've done that then and it's finished. Cube. Mm, small. Oh, and that's something I really prefer in a, in a bathroom, a large mirror. So I can, <laughs> so I can watch myself. Oh, that's so funny. But yeah, to be honest, a good-looking mirror. It's not dirty. Oh, that's so good. I love that. So ex I experiment to make some nice borders, but it looks ugly. So now I make a clean mirror, and I'm making some clips. Clips? You thinking? Why should I make clips? That's that it's not falling down and it will break in thousand pieces. And I can recommend doing that. And it has some nice reflection in the mirror. So you think, oh, that, that looks like clips. Oh, extruded. And this time I'm not gonna going to smooth it because they are so small. I also have to make some screws for the, for the shower. Right. Why are you so thick? No, only you. Yes. There you are. Don't touch it. 
this wow and can be 100% shiny glossy I mean uh, alt D and uh, control J uh, alt D rotate it uh, wow oh oh it's still there oh I don't get it anymore yes minus 190 um, okay what is going on Pfft. sometimes it's so funny the center is still there so can't rotate it so I have to check it if this no it's not good still no oh I can see that it is okay but then I have to select these ones and put it in the middle in the middle it's not the middle that's the middle and they need to be right there so uh, mirror smaller and all right um, and sh it should be on the wall what should be right there I think so save the file go to uh, this layer yes and put it right there and now it's good we're selecting this mirror and doing alt T and I discovered that there is no shiny material glossy and same for that one glossy oh yeah no, well it's good uh, save it again let me think hmm okay hmm mm, I think these cases are way too big and they popping up and I can't see anything so a bit better and now I'm moving this camera maybe a bit forward maybe there all right um, moving that case it's an important thing to do because uh, uh, I like the reflection from the mirror so keep it in mind it's not only that I like it but uh, safe and I think we should make a new render but before we do that I will do a trick at and uh, it's like what we see here I'm putting a sunlight coming right from the back what works it gives a nice effect and some extra light lamp sunlight one yeah it's, it's good it's like the door is open or something fake it till you make it and hit render I hope it don't grab file safe all right all right okay hmm uh, what I think is that my cases are a bit too far away but it's not a big problem yeah well I'm gonna do some little chains solid so um, this needs to be uh, deselecting everything everything so putting it there whoa yeah but it should be right there and then the camera I can move you right here wow okay and we hit render again all right yeah this is getting somewhere that I think yeah looks good um, yeah we have some nice reflection from the floor into these cases maybe too much blue in here 
but uh, I know a trick to fix that later. Um, okay, what we're gonna do is uh, I'm making the toilet, and then uh, I will fix this scene in the last part, and that's it. So there's some stuff to do, like the noise reduction, like this white fireflies. We need to remove it. We want a clean image from our uh, bedroom, and then uh, fixing it and doing something about this window because I'm not really happy with it and fixing yeah well fixing all the noise and complete the scene is what we're gonna do all right so um toilet and <laughs> I know my toilet was a bit cheap but I really liked it I, I really liked the design so it I, I didn't do it because uh, it's a rectangle shape I think if I had it choice to have this kind of toilet um, I will do it all right um, no shift D because we have a lot of props to do um, yep yeah. okay doing it again control B something like this is cool and smooth it and let's make that a bit smaller no um, yeah we should simplify it why dun, dun, dun. Looks okay. And we can make it a bit bigger. Um, and I want some shiny material on it. So what I choose for this one was uh, was some gray, not the glossy. So yeah, whatever. Um, where are you? There you are. New the gray. Same for that one. You can control J. And you have a toilet. Well, maybe it's a bit cheap, but uh, you can put it in the air, like what I'm doing right here. Mm. It's a huge one. It's a huge toilet. But I like it. All right, so we have to make some toilet paper and we have to make a bin and we can do that all in the uh, next part of the tutorial. So um, if we put this camera in a nice direction. Uh, oh, yeah, and we have to make some nice ornaments. That's the last thing I'm doing in this tutorial. That's a good idea. Um, yes, uh, removing the faces, because if we put some ornaments in the roof, oops, it creates some nice depth, something I learned by myself, what, and what I'm seeing in a lot of magazines, so uh, extruding it to the inside, uh, you can do it a bit more um and because it's a square size bedroom we don't have to fix anything so don't do it over do it um <laughs> so i read somebody told me that i shouldn't do um but sometimes i need to think what i'm doing i'm not just i'm not a robot like on I'm just programmed to model so I don't know why that guy told me that but that's ridiculous new uh, a bit gray so now I'm just putting it right there and there and we oh yeah we will see maybe this corner so putting it right there um, just 
so and make it a bit bigger shift D a bit smaller whoa that's it's not a bit that's way smaller and we make it a bit bigger that should work and we have some nice ornaments and if we hit render it's uh, it's cool for a nice shape there so uh, right okay um, I hope to see you in the next part of this tutorial and that's the last part we're gonna finish this bathroom all right see you later hello and welcome to this part of the tutorial uh, here we're gonna create a lot of props for in the bathroom and I'm going to start with the tap for the water um, and then creating the towel and all the other stuff toilet paper you know it so uh, and of course finalize it with some composting uh, but yeah taps uh, I designed if we go to the main scene was pretty cool that we have oh yeah a bin uh, I created these ones and I think they are pretty modern and pretty easy to use so uh, that's what we're gonna make and doing that is uh, what I will do is put all this to layer uh, three four yeah layer four I'm adding uh, that's your curve and I'm rotating it 90% and this is just a bit guessing like it needs to be like this and oh not everything just this part a bit more downwards should be a bit there but in fact this is uh, this is good so we have a tap and what we do is we make this this is the, the panel for the curve <coughs> sorry um, and we make this full and if we change the depth and see we create something like this and if you make that half you have this so full is recommendable um, make the resolution a bit bigger um, it's still not really looking like a tab <coughs> <coughs> sorry ah talk too much <laughs> and uh, yeah I can make it a bit bigger but that should be it so uh, what we also can do is make some more uh, lines in it so we have more detail um, and now we make it a mesh so we have uh, vertices um, we're not gonna finalize this by uh, uh, just adding some little extra details or well, we can do this bring it a bit backward downwards and it looks something what is acceptable uh, but I think I'm looking at it and it needs some more uh, details so what uh, what I can do is make that resolution five six way better just uh, and it's not that low poly tab so we go here doing exactly the same what we did uh, this is so it's nice integrated into the the sink and what we also want to do I uh, have to select one of these and show you what kind of shape we want we want that this more more yeah this this shape so going there and we're selecting this one dragging it a bit and we just rotate it and make it make it a bit bigger so we have this and we can make it smaller again <coughs> right so but 
uh, in our sample we can see it's thicker and this is really thin looks not really realistic so to solve that we go to the modifiers and we make a solidify and if we increase the amount it's getting a bit thicker um, and what we can try to do it not always works but if we make this a bit leap like this and we activating it it has it's a bit more smoother now it uh, has an, an effect right there and I don't know why it is so I can zoom a bit more and if I yeah all right um, make it a bit thicker yeah or should when I no, I'm just oh I'm removing this. Sorry for the confusing. <laughs> it just confused you. I think it is. So yeah. Oh oh now I see what's uh what's wrong. So I did something not good. Can happen, can happen. You have to press uh, scale and then the Z axis. So it's not going to be thicker. Yeah. Anyway, a little mistake. So we have one. And to final it, we made a torus. And we rotate that. Uh, rotate it again. Nothing happens. Nothing happened. Something happened. Uh, this torus will not work, so we add a curve and a circle, and we rotate that one, and again. So, and we're making that full, a bit bigger, scale that down. So this is a kind of a handle for if you want to tap warm or cold water. Make it a bit bigger. So, and maybe a bit like this. So, like, uh, so you want to see, look inside. So, from this side, it looks, yeah, believable. All right. Um, the material, totally 100% glossiness. Same for that one. New, glossy. Um, yep. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking, no, I'm not going to do that. So we have a tap and you can always uh, uh, decide to make it a bit thinner. I think that looks a bit better. So we have this one. Maybe we can increase the longness of it. More. Looks a bit su sweet. Yeah. So switching to the main scene. The main scene, not the half of the scene. We want to place that, and you can see with all the walls, it makes it a bit harder to place it somewhere. So, uh, but it's not really a problem. Hey, sorry, I have to uh, shut that down. Sometimes I have some weird noises here. Okay. It looks uh, believable, acceptable. Alt D, and I want one in our bad tube. Alright, I'm gonna fake it a bit, make it a bit bigger, like like so. Oh, I have to put that down. So we can have fresh water in our bed tube. Um, another thing what I want to create is uh, that's an important thing. Um, I want to create uh, towels. Yes, towels. 
Um, and that's a good one. I'm creating a mesh. This is uh, funny. Because <laughs> what I want is this. These uh, things. It's nice how it gets an effect. Oh yeah, we are in the bedroom. like yeah, Something like that. And we can move these to layer 4. And here is my curve. And we move that to layer 5. So, rotating that, and this is a bit tricky, it's not always a success, but uh, yeah, I believe it will work out. Always these sharp, and just, just a bit of guessing, like, oh yeah, it looks okay. So, we are there. And rotating it. Make that a bit smaller. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, even more, like like so. So, looks like a towel, right? The problem is when we uh, texture it. So first we make that full. Uh, this time we putting some depth in it and more resolution and extruding it make it a bit thicker yeah nice towel <laughs> yeah um, and what we need to do is convert it convert it to and close the caps Base, same for that one. Base, make that. Oh, that's that's pretty weird. Something. Oh, hmm. What's going on? Oh yeah. Remove doubles. Yeah, two hundred forty-four. Sometimes it has a lot of doubles, and then you want to close it, and it won't. So now it's filled and closed, and believe it or not, it works. All right, and fill it. So, um, if it's believable, if it is flying in the air, yeah, you can ask yourself that. I think it's not. Uh, we should make it a bit thicker. Like like this, yeah. Well, we have a nice towel. Sorry for confusing. But yeah, that's the workflow we have. Sometimes it will, it looks good. Sometimes we have to do it again. Getting used to it, or you just try out your own variation. No problem. So towel, and we do the trick again from you smart uv projection um for that we need to we have our uv image and we want no concrete uh, image texture towel 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 hmm, towel i think that one is a blue one right the blue one so here it is so we need to see the material now it looks really fake so I don't want to make that messy, so moving that. And we have to see what is what. Oh, there it is. Oh, I just put it all together and it's too easy. And probably you have, m oh, I forgot some vertices. I think we won't see it in the end. And now we drag it, make it a bit bigger. Uh, totally doesn't look satisfying. <laughs> wow. So what do we have? Well, I believe that. Only, only this part. 
What the heck? Can't believe it. And it looks so not realistic. Hmm. All right. I think it's fun. We can fix that. So we have some nice stuff. All right. Oh yeah, you're gonna play that game. Hmm. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's way better. That's way better. I don't know why it's acting so weird, but uh, yeah, believe it or not, getting used to it. And there should be ways that, oh, are you? It's making fun of me. All right, fake it till you make it, definitely. So we have a towel and uh, yeah, if I took a shower, I will definitely use this one because they look lovely. Uh huh. <laughs> one thing is a bit confusing me because uh, <laughs> yeah, now I want to select the top one, but it's almost impossible to find the one. Yeah. Oh, I'm lucky. So. Nah, nah, it's not. It's not doing any good. Any good. So, save your project. Um, and I'm putting this one into the scene. This is where I wanted it. So I had some space over there, left. I think it's a cool place for a towel. And I'm not gonna put any material on it, as a. Uh, so maybe a bit smaller or bigger, but uh, definitely will do smaller. Cause I think these look giant. There are giant towels, but these look really giant. Um, bin. Yeah, let's make bin. I think that's a nice detail. Um, oh, we have to make a shower. This is gonna be a long tutorial, but I guess you have time for it. So, um, a bin. It's uh, it's really easy if you know how it works. So uh, you guys go to another layer because we're gonna create bin. Um, and I think it's good to have some background image from a bin. Da -da -da -da. Bin. Uh, no. Oh, there's the bin. Pretty view. Mm. Oh, I lose it. I lose it. What the? What the? Pfft. No, dude. Bin. All right, there you are. I'm not losing you anymore. Uh, old home. That's uh, a cool trick. If you want to go to the object center, you're selecting control point. But if you just want to go to this point, there's nothing to select. If you press Alt Home, you can switch there. And that's so oh, I just like that. Um, cylinder, cylinder, there you are. I need you. All right, you are in already in good shape. So let's guess. I think this is the right thickness and something like this making it smooth and we have something that looks believable and making this a really bit good a bit more but not that much all right and we do that the same for yeah okay sometimes just selecting the whole of it not good at all All right, next thing is shift D and best way to do is selecting this and making it really small. Oh yeah, and of course we want that orange dot in the center or else we get crazy. Uh, no, 
and then back boing um, yeah uh, needs to fit better so we have something nice but in fact there is something between it I think it's some rubber band so I'm duplicating it putting it a bit upwards like in that one and making that something looks like this so yeah all right uh, and that's the same for the bottom oh if we make that black by now we're done shift oh, whoa shift oh shift D not shift <coughs> pardon me I have a flu or something oh, it can be big it's really big and you can see the bottom is big no it's not so I guess I don't like that why can I can't see anything I'm doing well well it doesn't mean you need to be disappear all right oh gosh all right yeah I can make that big bigger like this all right till so far it's like oh yeah I can do that it's not that hard it isn't but uh, these little extras making it sometimes a bit hard so what I think is this on the front side so we select in the front and what we do is making this uh, yeah and then counting one two three four five I think this works and then we're watching it again so it's popping out and making it small oh again oh oh not good the wrong one so it's popping out and we're making it small um, but we're not there yet because if we zoom in it has some a lot more details so these are there's one over there one over there and we have to put them up uh, yes and up. um all right but it's not finished because there is something hmm shouldn't be that hard uh, yeah all right there we go Whew. it's a small detail and it takes so many time why is that why is that mm-hmm all right almost there and now we just select these these are we done no we're not uh, shift D P selection oh I'm pressing a lot of buttons it doesn't do any good all right Selecting the top ones. A lot of details. So, yeah, you can leave that just like uh, glossiness or making it a bit black. Okay, cool. Bit bigger. So, if we make this new, it looks already good. And this is, of course, uh, is it? Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, it's not. Mm -hmm. So we also have to select these. Uh, I 
think think oh I'm getting a bit dizzy right uh we not did something wrong no I believe it I believe it uh shift D Uh, oh my god, Fin new, black. Ah, all right. So, this one can be mirrored. No, this shouldn't be black. Object, new. <laughs> wow, glossy. Okay, wow. File save the work, hit render. What happened? Hmm. No way. Oh yeah, oh yeah, there it is. That part P selection is that data and yes, and this should be one point one. Black black mirror. All right, render. Yeah. Point two. Well, it's believable. So it's important that you have these black uh, things, but uh, try to experiment with it. It's really important. So and that you, you don't mash up these uh, vertices. Anyway, this is the workflow of putting all these extra things in it and then we have some more in the back mm, needs to be exactly behind two three four uh, oh almost so this is it nice handle All right, and we want to make that black, but you know how it works right now. So new, new, and we need to what need would we uh, black? <laughs> Whoa, confused. I was a bit confused. Black. Uh, we need to do the same for that one. Uh, don't get panic. It's really uh, sometimes it's very not that that hard. Uh, one more, and we extrude that. Kaboom! Do, do, do. I spent a whole day creating a bin. How cool is that? A whole day. The, um, yeah, doing it better now. New material, new, black, uh, even a bit more black, and make it a sign. So you don't have to select this. This is crazy too. Let's don't do it. Uh, render. So yeah, looks something like a bin. Yeah, I definitely love this bin. Save, um, yep. All right, and uh, we put it in the bathroom. M, four. But we have so many more things to create. What I really enjoy, like the shower. What do you think? gonna create a shower mm, should be a bit bigger yeah definitely or a bit smaller mm -hmm. uh, mm. yeah it's ridiculous to spend so much time on a, on a bin but what is wrong with this guy? Oh, of course, nothing is wrong. 
believe me nothing is wrong so um maybe we can i want to see the din because we spend time on it so why should we hide it um maybe we can fix that but i don't think no it's not doing anything there's no problem with the normals just a bit of weirdness uh save the scene and we're gonna create a shower uh, what i really like uh i think i have a sample shower oh i don't really have it so mm, uh just straight from my head i want something that looks easy but that it's uh has a good function uh-huh anyway so this is where we start with we duplicate at once make it a bit smaller what are we making you can guess 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 one two three four and this is a handle uh of course we want some nice smooth edges but it doesn't work of course with the with the beaver so we need to subdivide it what will do is work what doesn't look good well it looks good i mean it uh yeah needs so many vertices smooth same with this guy subdivision service Oh, but we are almost there when we finish the shower. No? Dun, 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 dun. And one over there. And one more there. I say it's. Oh. Wow. Smooth. And to make it. And mesh cube, you know what it is. I think you know it. This is uh, a rubber ring, mm, something like that. We really uh, small detail. Make it smooth. All right. Um, new. Yeah, black. Exactly, you wear that was the right color, new glossy and join these two. Um glossy. White. Okay. That's perfect. And a bit of shiny. Um and what we also want to do oh yeah, you can twist it a bit or like like and it's working whatever you like um, we make a cylinder cylinder and this is for the water or this is a kind of a handle in the wall but we are gonna create this piece of beautiness so we have this in the wall and it's going up like that and then we have a shower uh really really handy stuff so needs to be thin or was it hmm did i use the ah of course wow, what i'm doing let's get this and we add a curvy do 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 bezier curve 90 and rotate it and bring it like this need to be straight same for this guy straight there and then you can do something like this so we have nice uh it's gonna be up whoa no 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 don't want that. And oh, mm, 
and on the top of there we can put the shower uh, if you like and we make that full and da, 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 da. yeah I think it's uh, good enough mm. yeah and if we have an image from the shower always good to have da, 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 da. and that's one so we have some image so we know uh, our reference so this guy is right there can be a bit smaller and maybe a bit bigger so that's good um, no all right uh, here you go so this shower um, it's good we have a picture so what I want is add a cylinder mesh cylinder and we go do some fancy modeling don't get crazy because it's uh, it's good to do sometimes you think oh that's an impossible shape but these shapes are the most easiest to create don't get scary from all that stuff yeah hey, okay you need a lot of vertices but don't care in the end you won't see it you only see a nice smooth page um, what I will do is Um, yep. <laughs> Give me a minute. So it's like it's, uh, there is some rubber band between it. Or there is something in. Just for the ID. So now the fun part comes in. It's like, it's like, whoa. And again whoa it's really huge i don't know why these things are so huge i don't like them at all um well, why are you making it well don't know everybody got them so yeah if the customers likes it i'm creating it Ooh, right hmm okay i think it's pretty okay but as you can see um yeah there are like the material is not that hard it's just uh, uh, glossy point one and we can put it right uh do we it's a bit thicker i guess all right cool So um, all these dots are what I will do, mesh cube to save some, um, oh, go away, render power, that's why. <laughs> you think, what are you doing? I don't know. Well, I know. I know what I'm doing. Hmm. And smooth it, and I think we have something that look not good. Hmm. What the? Yeah. All right. I'm done. So. There we go. And if it looks, um, it's starting not there, but over here. All right, you got me. You got me. So, um, there. 
not really have a system for this. It's just, I think, randomly. So, um, and now we need to focus a bit, make this 3D cursor, selecting everything. And Alt D, Alt D, and you twisting it around. Try to do it exactly with some the same space between it. Exactly rub the same space, not the double size. And it maybe looks like a idiot small detail, but in fact. It isn't. Okay, file save. Uh, and there are more details, like if you uh, watch it, it's not only this one. We have these boys over there and some over there. Maybe it looks small, but it's you should make it. File save it. Oh yeah, it's here in the image. Oh, <laughs> mesh. Cylinder. Oh yeah, we change that back to uh, individual origins. Individual origins, or something like that. Very small. And then just crop it, make it like this, right? Oh, it's even bigger. Hmm. Acceptable. What is this? What is it? Does it have any function or does it? No, it doesn't. Uh, smooth. And you can see it looks horrible. I really smooth it. No, I'm just kidding it. All right. Uh, nine minus ninety. And Alt D, like you can see this going way or there, so we can put it. And at the bottom there are some chokers, I don't know, some plastic. Uh, Shift D, P selecting. Of course we can assign it later, but I uh, um, don't want that. Smooth. And material, I think it's a bit, yeah, uh, just black. Just black. And these boys are good. And we need some, um, yeah. Okay. What I will do, I should explain this. Uh, no, 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 no. All right, it's for the the ah, uh, what's the name of it? Uh, the ah, uh, I will show you. Well, it's okay. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Wow, there's totally no shadow or something there. This looks really ugly. Uh, that is 90. One over there. Alt D and one over there. Cool. And this guy is doing really acting weird. All right, Control N and it's fixed. So um, there's one more thing we need to do. Rotate it. Oh, uh, no. Active elements. What that was wrong. 
Let's make it active elements. And this need to be in the middle. And let's see, Jemmy. Hmm. All right. Uh, deselect it. M four four. Wow. It's still not the same. All right, there we are. Don't sometimes I don't know my own tools. Love the blender. Uh, remove the roof. Remove the roof. Oh, fun is that. All right. I think it looks good. All right. Maybe a bit smaller. Put a bit more in the up. Hmm. All right. So everything together looks pretty okay. Um, right, but we still have a lot of to do. There is going to be one more part uh, with the compositing and uh, yeah, finalizing all the content. So this is almost done. One more step, and it's it's it. We have a bedroom. So oh yeah, to close it, we can make a render. Uh, we want to see what we have. Uh, file, save the work. Render. Looks totally hilarious. Well, I don't think it looks okay. Ah, oh, it should put some material on it. And we have very sharp shadows over there. So, uh, and we need the material. Okay, but uh, it's getting somewhere. So, um, stay tuned. And uh, we're going to make something epic. All right, see you soon. Hello everyone, welcome to this last part of the tutorial. We're gonna finish the scene, uh, we're gonna make a final render, doing some compositing, and that's it. But before we're gonna do that, we have some small things to do left, like uh, uh, the making the carpets, and there's some random stuff in the bathroom we wanna create, like toilet paper. It's a very important thing, don't uh, miss that. So uh, yeah, let's start with the carpet. Carpet, yeah. Right, you have to select the window and then you can do stuff. Anyway, um, I have an image from a carpet and um, it is that one. I've got a lot of ones, but I like the one. Um, there is a way doing this with uh, the strand rendering, but I discovered when we make a carpet with just uh, a cube with some shapes in it, it looks pretty believable and not even bad. And when you adding a strand carpet, it eating your com it's eating your computer a lot if you want to do it good. So I made the choice to do it this way. In other tutorials, you can see how I'm working with the strand rendering settings. So don't be afraid. It's uh, it's uh, gonna be alright. Anyway, cube. There was no blender without a cube. Anyway, um. It's not really only this shape we have to do a lot, but in the end it looks uh, pretty nice. Of course, we don't want to make ugly stuff. Mm, so we have some nice uh, shape in it. Um, next thing is this, because we see some rectangle shape in it, and you will never get it by just adding a cube. You will definitely see that. So, I think this works. I don't know how I did it in my first version, but uh, we will see. So why? Uh, I think here we go a bit inside. Then we extruding it again. That's why. And we go upwards. So we see something nice in it, and uh, maybe not too much. 
Uh, don't, don't make it too serious. <laughs> or maybe you should. Maybe you should. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna always make it a bit more smooth. Oh, I don't think we should smooth it. Or do we? Oh, disappear. Anyway, uh, it's almost done. Uh, or do we want to fix? No, you won't see it. Sorry. There we go. Project from view. We're not gonna use that uh, <laughs> stupid smart UV projection. What I really like, but sometimes I'm oh no environment image. I'm eating my branch since it's horrible. Carpet. Uh, UV. That's a great carpet. Right. Hmm. I think this works, but this shouldn't be in the white. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, G Y uh, like this, and if we look, it looks like a carpet. And what we have some problems with the with these sides. We're starting with that one. That one. Go to the front. You project from view. Hmm. Okay. And this side. Uh, you project from view. It looks maybe strange, but in the end, you watch it and you think, oh yeah, well, that works. And it works, of course. Save. And we move it to layer number four or number three. No, number four. Um, yeah, all right. Number three. Uh, rotate it. Oh, uh, we want to see it. Minus 90. We want to see the props, so we can put it for the mirror, in front of the mirror. Put it a bit upwards. All right, there you go. Yeah, oh. Need to select the bin, but I'm selecting everything. Yes, so you need to be right there. So we have a nice carpet. File safe. And we need a rack over there. So as you can see, this one, and it's just cylindrical, uh, cylindrical shape. So we're gonna do that pretty quick. Uh, add mesh uh, cylinder uh, rotating it. Yes, S Y and for the good watchers, um, adding some details on it. All right, Shift D like that. Uh, smooth smooth yeah shift D rotate it now, of course it should be 90 make it smaller we don't want it and you don't need nice shapes now or do we no even smaller than this incredible all right uh, and you can use all D And you have some nice, oh yeah, of course, all the same material. Control J, 100% uh, glossy, you got it. <laughs> uh, save, and I think we get, we need to do this, or we get these black stripes, I think. Um, 
m number three. Here we go. I don't know why you should put that right there, but it works. I know a lot of people who have a rack like this. Put some clothes on. Hey there. You can see the depth of the thing. G white. Uh, right there you go. Um, did I forget something? Uh, probably, probably a lot, a lot. We have towels, we have a bin, carpets, thing right there. Toilet paper, one of the most important things in the scene. Toilet paper. So, uh, yes, there we go. Toilet paper. <laughs> uh, do we need a sample of this? Maybe I have one, and it's cool to show you really ridiculous this oh wow there it is so I'm always looking for new shapes or I'm looking for cool props curvy bezier curve all right 90 uh no that's the wrong one uh, we should use this one and rotate it. Rotate it a bit more. Modeling things like this is always uh, relaxing. Right? It's not that hard, and it's you, you get something nice. Some shapes are really yeah blowing your brain like it's so complicated and if you can modeling something easy it doesn't matter it's just cool so maybe we have some effects but i don't think so so we need this one this one and activate it full can it be automatically be full don't know why you should use hall uh adapt like this Two, maybe a bit less. Oh, not too, not too small. So there you go, and a bit more. All right, maybe two more, and we convert it to something like that. Then we need a mesh cube. No, 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 cylinder, cylinder. Yeah, rotate it, make it ninety. Make it small, but not too small. Yeah, hmm, don't know. Yeah, love some extra detail for small stuff. And for you, I already fixed it. Hmm, no problem, mouse. Yeah, I can use you. Smooth, shift D, rotate it. Zero. Um, and only thing what we need to do would be a bit smart. Well, that's not that hard. And you can say, yeah, that's totally not the same as the top run. Well, does it matter? I don't think so. But what, what I do think is that this is a bit too strange. So for this guy. All right. And I think we're almost done. Is it in the middle? Yeah, probably. Oh yeah, and the toilet paper. Mesh, Oof, cylinder. I've waited so long for this. Is it that big? Yeah, I think. Yeah, it, 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 toilet paper is big. Hmm. All right. Well, I believe this is uh, toilet paper. You. Cylindrical projection, new, 
image open. Where is that beautiful? Uh, mm, where? Oh, I should have something. Toilet paper, yeah. UV. Now let's have a look what we have. Save the file. Maybe it crashed with the toilet paper. Yeah. Well, it's not the best paper I've ever seen. Well, I should put something on top. Project, project from view. Wop. And it works. You can even, if you like, put two on it. Now we have to rotate it, or else we see it. But now, we can just gonna use that one. No jokes for this tutorial. Sorry, it's not really a joke. It's just, just I just thought it was a good idea. Remove doubles. There are no doubles. Hmm. Fill it and put a material on. When I use 100% gloss, yes, I like that. So we have some mirror. New gloss, yeah. File safe. Um, poo poo. Uh, we put this in that layer, activating it all. And of course, it needs to be smaller. Um, because there are a lot of objects, need to be something like this 90, just by hand. I think this is believable. So you're sitting with your ass on that thing and then you want to grab it. I think that's possible. Fine. Even closer. Well, file safe. And did we forget something? Because I think we all want to go. Oh, maybe a bit of compost. Uh, I mean, that the camera has the nice angle. So, um, if I'm honest, um, uh, I think no, no, we we should do that. Just talking loud. I think everybody likes that when we talk loud. Or maybe not. Uh, yeah. He's just checking everything. So, uh, what I will do, I put this a bit more in back. <laughs> just a bit. Something like this. Yeah. File, save. Uh, and I'm going for that render. So, render settings, let's. This is 450. I think it's way too much, but making that 200 for the first one. Um, clamp. Normally, by default, it's zero. Uh, that reduces a lot of noise. If you make that five, uh, or one, two, three, four, five, you have to experiment with it. It looks uh, less noise. It uh, it changes the light a bit, but uh, it's a trick and it works fantastic. So try it out. Um, don't touch the caustic things because that ruins all the nice uh, yeah, colors. Oh, I'm not a big fan of that. Is there more? No, I don't think so. Okay. Uh, these are the world settings. Uh, it's automatically automated for me because this is my original scene. I choose the sky texture and a value of 0.4. Don't use the ambient occlusion because just don't use it. <laughs> I can't explain wh what it is. It's it's faking some shadows and it gives some glowing textures. Just don't use it. All right. So I will pause my uh, uh, video and when the render is done, we go back and just go uh, giving some feedback on what we have. So I'm going to pause it. And so we have a render. Um, there are some things what's not that good in this uh, render. Uh, first, my eyes tracking this carpet, what is uh, looking very, uh, yeah, is it? 
it's it's weird so i have to make that smaller and a bit different this bad tube is way too wide it's too bright uh same for the the toilet not really good and uh, the window there is uh, coming so much light so i think the window frame is a bit too bright either and there's some noise so we have to reduce that but after all it's not that bad so uh, and i see there's no handle in this door and some screws so i'm going to fix that so i'm starting with screws that's some modeling work that's very easy to create so we create a cube normally i'm always making uh, uh between modeling if you have to create something and make a render I watch it and then model new stuff or change it and now i can't make it every time so it's a bit uh bit different but it doesn't matter so this is this group it's like uh it's good glossy point one and we have to crop it a bit like this and where do we want it i think i want it smaller one over there i only want this layer and that one so we don't see the roof and so there is some space over there uh, yes This need to be the gloss. Yeah, it's the gloss material. Um, and we need to duplicate it. Alt D uh, to the bottom. Uh, can be a bit upwards, something like that. And then we select it. Uh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> oh no. I hope it doesn't have any effect on the texture. Sometimes, no. Mm, Alt D, and we want some over here. Um, connection groups. I want to see them. Now they are covered. They're still going on. They are not covered at all. I put them a bit back. Uh, of course, make it smooth. Now they are a bit uh, big, but yeah, screws are big. Still, all right. Alt D. I want some over there. So and we want a handle to open the door, and we do that by creating a curve and a bezier curve, and rotate at ninety percent. Yes, rotating it like this, and again, so this is looking better, but not good enough. <laughs> and it's still not what I want. Sometimes these curves are a bit confusing. All right. All right. Hmm. You can hear my voice. I'm not really satisfied. Even if it's a small detail, things need to be good. Now what happens if I activate this? Yeah, need to be a bit longer, but then it has an effect. Oh, we make it longer. That's like mm. all right, a bit thicker, and we're done. Uh, resolution one, two, all right, and convert to mesh. Um, new glossy. Yeah, 100% glossy. And where is the door? It's there. 
and we put it from the outside I'll make a massive one I'll make it small like this I think it looks fine that's a nice handle so the carpet needs some uh, tweaking make it smaller and thinner like it's integrating into the ground uh, the bed where is it it's right there uh, maybe there's some little variation or texturing it oh UV UV uh, towel just rotate it so it looks different uh, the bat it is glossy make it diffuse Ooh, make it one yes you can make it more white if you want uh, what is this make it darker yeah you can handle that make this one darker it's already dark um is there more so we fix the carpet i think we change this uh this one is fixed i hope this needs has some changes mirror is all right and the rest is uh ba -ba -ba -ba. yeah it looks looks fine uh i'm gonna use more samples 200 more so uh, we make a final render and do some compositing. See you in a couple of minutes or maybe two seconds. So here we have our final render. Um, one thing, this bad tube is a bit too bright. I think I should put, uh, let's see, it's, uh, it's a bit too bright. Like this value will do way better. Um, and this has a very weird color, but I don't know what it is. Anyway, um, the image. We're gonna do some uh, compositing, not a lot. I mean, uh, you can do a lot with the compositor. Maybe a bit of uh, color management, uh, but yeah. Anyway, what we will do, I will start with um, uh, color RGB curves and make it a bit darker so then we will add color RGB color color balance and this is one very important thing make it more fresh and in the blue light No, just, just not too much more purple. This is a very complicated uh, way of. W important is that you know what you want. So you want a warm room, so warm colors or more fresh. I want that blue color. So a bit of dark shadows. No. Yeah. Small details. Um. Because I don't like all these sharp cuts here and making a distortion, lens distortion, and making that a value of uh, uh, dispersion. Where is it? 0 0.02. Two. No, 0 0.01 is way too much. So it fades away the sharp uh, cuts in the uh, end of the render. Um, something else, and I don't know if that works, is adding a filter glare. Um, and I want simple star. It's way too much, I know. Five, high. Um, sometimes. Oh no, serious no, zero. It's only getting worse if I put it down. Yeah. Oh, cool. 
what happens is omega 2 mm, 3 5 or 4 yeah I don't know oh, 4.5 the reason I'm doing this is that I don't like these uh, sharp it needs to be light from outside and that these these ripples need to be fading away but uh, yeah try to experiment with that um, a bit with this color and there are you can mean streaks but that's uh, not doing anything good so uh, yeah that is simply my note tree for this room um, and I think we are on the end of this tutorial uh, what we did was we created a room, we're creating some furniture in the bathroom, the bath, the toilet, the shower, and this is just my uh, my way to model a bathroom. And there are so many other ways to do it. But I hope that you understand that you uh, need to start somewhere, and then slowly build it up. And yeah, you have to look to till till it looks better and better. That's how we uh, how we work. Anyway, um, I hope you liked it. If you have questions, ask me. I will help you with that. Um, just send me a uh, comment, and uh, we will see. So you can find all the textures on this website. Uh, they are very uh, uh, there's good resolution, like 4K, 4,000 pixels. But I also downscale them so it doesn't eat your GPU mem uh, video card. Uh, they're all mine textures so you can use them for free so that's a good thing um, you can download the original scene and uh, the one we created right here so uh, I hope you enjoy that so see ya in the next tutorial later